So now we want to talk about that the boundary of a disk is not a retract of disk. So this is important ingredient in the proof of the map of the fixed point theorem. But we will just prove this that boundary is not a retract of the disk. So the proof is by contradiction. So consider a retract like this. So if there is a retract, you can consider an inclusion map also. So then RI will give you an identity map. First you include and then you retract, you get an identity map. So why I'm using this is because now you construct the long exact sequence. Again, same as previous one, your pair A is the boundary of the disk and X is the disk itself. So the boundary is nothing but SN minus one. So both ends of this sequence have integers. So again, I'm writing I star for the map induced from inclu inclusion and R star the map induced from retraction. A disk is homotopically equivalent to a point, therefore it is zero. But the other two ends of the sequence are integers. This is integers. And this is integers. Now there should be a ID map from here to here because RI is the ID map. So you first apply I star and then you apply R star. You first apply I star and then R star. What you get is ID map. But the zero in between causes the contradiction. And because of this contradiction, we cannot have a pre -track.